everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Samsung Stage 5H wireless microphone system. This was donated by Discount Giant USA. Now they wanted to see just how roadworthy these low cost microphones are. I'm going to put it to the test. And uh, well, I'm going to start off in the theater setting here, the typical stuff, drop tests, all that. But then I'm going to ramp it up a little bit like you know I like to do. Stay tuned folks. <laughs> all right, it's time for the unboxing. There it is. All right, I'm gonna crack this baby open. We got the wireless receiver right here. We have the microphone itself. It comes with an AC adapter and a good old-fashioned unbalanced quarter-inch plug. A very uh, not very good one. This is a very, this is a used product to the first place. So if you notice the uh, the packaging a little off, uh, you know. But it'll do just fine for what my purposes are. <laughs> All right, so taking a look at the wireless receiver box, it has the good old antenna. Good reception, right? Crank that antenna. Okay, looking at the front of the unit, there is the audio control. I'm not sure why they put a volume control right on the box because usually you control that right with your mixer, I guess. Maybe if uh, a user wants to use it on their uh, guitar amp, something like that, it could be handy, but honestly, you just pretty well leave it at a unity position, but uh, it, it's not marked unity on this. There's no zero mark on this thing, so I'm guessing that you just crank it all the time. There's of course the decibel, decibel reading and the RF meter showing how strong the signal is from your wireless microphone. There is a squelch knob right here. I've never seen that in any of the microphones I've worked with, but I know if I turn it down that uh, as soon as you shut that wireless microphone off, it's going to put this crazy signal right through the system and you do not want that so you crank that baby up and you're all good and of course the power button and up on the back of the unit of course the power input which is a 12 volt power adapter there's a nice little loop here so you can loop your cord so you don't accidentally pull it out I've done that a few times not good during a show you got your XLR output there's also these uh, mic or line output settings just changes the uh, gain level on the output, essentially. Then, of course, the unbalanced output. And there's also some stickers back here because they look awesome. Hell yeah. You'll notice, overall, this looks almost identical to a Shure SM58 wireless now, doesn't it? Maybe they're copying them? I don't know. It also uses a 9-volt battery on the inside, just like the Shure SM58. Hmm. I, I went ahead and installed one there. Now, on the inside, of course, the battery. And we have the on and off button here. I really like how you have to flick this on and then screw the cover on so you're doing a show no one accidentally shuts that damn microphone off on you but they can mute it so there is a chance you can uh, still mess something up but if you don't have a guy working on the board constantly then you know having your mute button is essential you know you don't want to be cranking this open to shut your microphone off all the time they did include the mute button now that we got the overview of the product in hand here I'm going to do the first test, and this happens, it, it's pretty well guaranteed to happen. That's why they sell uh, replacement windscreens, because uh, people tend to drop the bastards. Now that was the first drop. I'm still seeing a uh, wireless light on there. Or a wireless light, I'm silly, eh? That's a power light. <laughs> it didn't dent the uh, windscreen on there. I think we're ready for our next drop test. Oh, whoa, whoa. You hearing that? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me that one little drop from maybe three feet destroyed this thing. See what I'm saying there? Oh, dang. Well, there goes my uh, audio test plans. Because one drop in the. Uh, the actual diaphragm smashed off from the board inside there. You can see that with the lighting we got going here. Huh. Okay, so first drop, officially this thing has uh, been rendered useless. That? <laughs> oh, c come on, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, fuck. No, I guess I'm going to have to just uh, go off. Well, maybe I can plug this in and see if it's still sending a signal. It'll leave a light if it has a signal on, right? I'll do that. This just in, after the first drop test, it has rendered it mostly useless. Although it does still send a wireless signal and that is what we're going to base this test off for now on. 
Actually, if I shake this around a bit, you'll see I get a bit of an audio signal coming out of that. That's just because the uh, wires are shorting out in there. Fun stuff, eh? Oh no. Well, it appears in the same cosmetic condition. <laughs> same rattle. But still rolling. Kinda. I saw something break off that time. Okay, acceptable, acceptable damage. I lost a little label in the back that uh, labeled the mute button. No one needs that bullshit. The microphone is still on, and if we take a look at the wireless receiver, it is still getting stuff other than, of course, there'd be no diaphragm, so if I talk into this, nothing's gonna happen, but if I short the wires out by shaking it, you're getting a pretty loud and most likely very system destroying signal out of that. <laughs> still have a battery indication and still receiving good strong signal. This thing makes a great maraca if you're looking for one. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. All right, that toss. The uh, protective housing came off, and uh, looky here, we got a three-piece. <laughs> now I'm going to say uh, that has to be the end of it because it's not going to be sending anything anymore. That put up a really good run. I actually could have fixed that in the time uh, that it wasn't working. <laughs> I doubt I can fix it now. I'm not going to try. <laughs> Now to take it a little uh, up a notch, I'd say. And there we have the damage of me pushing a half-ton truck over top of the uh, microphone system itself. The casing did not even uh, collapse or squish or anything. The receiver, however, that took a good little beating, didn't it? <laughs> Let me go plug that in and see if it all... I see broken circuit boards in there. I really doubt that's going to uh, turn on again. Oh, it could just be the uh, volume knob that's broken off. We'll check it out. That thing still powers on. I'm still seeing some uh, signal from... Uh, if I just play with it. Of course, the microphone's not going to work, but these LEDs are still turning on. Nice. Now you'll notice the windscreen on this thing is actually held up very well. There's only a few minor dents in the top. Very common for a microphone to have dents like this. And you've seen what I did to it. Now I'm just going to uh, actually put it to a little bit more of a test here. And take the top off and I got a handy dandy axe here. We're going to just see how much pressure I can put on this. I'll start light. That was a pretty good hit. Dimpled in the top a little. There was a good one. Alright, I'm going to give her a good... Actually, I'm going to upgrade my weapon to it. A little bit of a bigger truck now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't think that's going to turn on again. <laughs> Yeah, we can. It doesn't hurt to try, right? <laughs> I just plugged it in to see if I can get it uh, to power on, and I look at the board. The power button's completely smashed right off there. As a matter of fact, I can probably just grab it right here. There's your power button. So this bitch ain't turning on anymore. 
I don't think anything in there, eh? Yeah, one circuit board. There we are. And here we have the insides of the Samson Stage 5H receiver. Not really much going for it, is there? I will say this, this is kind of weird when I snap the boards. It smells like cat piss. And just for good measure, we're going to finish this guy off. Ooh, it flew right in the garage. <laughs> and there, look at this. Here we have the transmitter board for the Stage 5H. Again, very simple. And this also smells like cat pee when you break these boards. Interesting. <laughs> Must be one of the ingredients. And that about concludes my review on the Samsung Stage 5H. Hope you enjoyed watching and please check out the people that donated this microphone. Discount Giant USA. I'll leave their links in the bottom description. I've got some really good deals from their eBay store. Just saying. Anyway. You guys have a good one.